All right, you guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content. And make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so that YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here and welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it is going to be a what I eat today what i eat video today however you want to word it um you guys absolutely love those so i am staying on track and we are going to have another total carb day so i have like been up and down a few pounds as you guys know it's like ever since christmas i seem to like have trouble losing the regain that i had gained from christmas and we are going into may and i'm still having that trouble so I'm just kind of sticking with what I've been doing. Um, I haven't gained any more. Mind you, I haven't lost at all, but um, you know what? This maybe is my maintenance. I don't know exactly. Like I wanted to lose some before summer and get back to like my 133, 135, but I'm having trouble getting down there. So we will see, but as long as we just stick to the total carbs, you guys, then we are on the right track. So that is what I'm going to be recording today. But first, you guys, <clears throat> where I work actually um, there was an employee that tested positive for COVID so my employer had mentioned to us that um, if we are symptomatic to go and get a test now ever since I came back from Calgary I haven't been feeling a hundred percent I'll be honest so these feelings like these symptoms that I feel I've said before could be allergies because I do have a runny nose and I do have a headache that just won't go away. So I don't know if it's COVID related um, or if it's just allergies, but regardless, I am going to get a test today because I wanna be sure 100%, I don't wanna be you know, at work or walking around grocery stores or whatever, um, maybe thinking that I have it. I just wanna know 100%. And since we had a positive case at our work, um, I definitely do want to go and get tested just so for the peace of mind right um so i am going to do that today you guys i will be leaving here in about a half an hour and yeah so hopefully i'll be able to record some of it i'm actually pretty anxious to find out what the procedure is to be honest because I've, I've only had one COVID test and we actually did that here on the military base because I do work on a military base here in Canada. And it was just in your car, we did it last year and they did a swab in the mouth. And I was actually inconclusive and they needed to find out how I got retested because it is a military base and nobody ever did call me back. <laughs> but I was feeling fine and I probably, I guarantee you that I never did have it. They were just doing a mass testing on the base at that time. Um, but that was the only test that I've ever had. So what we had to do here, I am in Alberta, Canada. So I went online to book a test. So I had to enter in all of my information, first name, last name, phone number and all that. And I had to enter in my Alberta healthcare. So here in Alberta and in Canada, we don't pay for our healthcare. So if we need a doctor's visit, a hospital visit, a surgery, all that is 100% paid for. So I had to go online, book my appointment and enter in that information. And apparently from what I've heard is when we get there, um, there will already be like a package that is ready to go for my test. And that is labeled under my name and under my, my Alberta Healthcare. So we will see the procedure. It is a drive-through. I've seen it actually on my way into Medicine Hat because it's on the outskirts of Medicine Hat. Um, so I know where to go and everything, but it's just going to be kind of interesting to see the procedure considering I never have been tested. So I will keep you guys posted on that. I will record as much as I can. Um, but that is what I'm going to do today, you guys. So I am off work right now, going to get that test. Supposedly you hear back um, via text message or a recording if you're positive or negative. So we will hear back from that hopefully tomorrow. Um, I've heard it's like a 24 hour wait for that. So we will see as well for that, but I will keep you guys posted. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys in the next clip. Good morning, you guys. We are going to go out and feed the chickens for you guys that are new here. 
We have chickens. We actually have two chickens that lay eggs every day. So let's go out and feed the chickens and we are gonna give them some treats as well too. So let's go out and do that. All right, we are going to give the chickens a mixture of, I have some potatoes here that are left over and some coleslaw cabbage and then just some of their treats. So these are our chickens. <laughs> no, go back Yoke. Go back, Yoke. This one, Yoke is our friendly one. No, back, 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 back. Okay, there we go. All right, this is Yoke. They know I have treats. This is Yoke. She's our older girl. We've had her for about two years, and she is very, very friendly. And this here is Sunshine. She is our new chicken, and we've had her for... I want to say a little less than a year. She was older when we got her as well too. Um, but Yoke we've had since she was two days old. So she's very friendly. She comes when she's called actually to her name and she flies up on you and everything. Very, very friendly. And Sunshine, she's still getting to know us. Let's put it that way. Um, we still try to pet her, but she's still a little bit skittish just because she was older um, when we got her. But we love our chickens. They are pets to us and we absolutely love them. And they are nice enough to lay eggs almost every day. Here in Canada, when it gets cold, it tends to slow down. But now that it's getting nicer out, they do lay eggs every day, one a day. So yeah, and they're, they're so pretty right now. Like their feathers are looking so, so healthy. And they're both a good size. So let's see if they have any eggs. Let me just check. So there's one egg in there and the other one, the other one is empty. All right, thank you girls. I think this one actually was um, Sunshine's egg, I do believe, because she kind of lays the lighter colored ones. They are both brown, but her eggs are just a tad bit lighter than yolks. So thank you girls. All right, you girls have a good day and we will see you probably tomorrow I guess. I'll bring your food and treats. All right, and then for the eggs, we just keep them right in here because apparently unwashed eggs last longer than washed eggs when you have fresh farm chickens. So we just collect them and put them in this basket. Sometimes if we're gone for a couple days and we go to collect the eggs, we will take this basket, but we just keep it on the counter right there and just add to it. So that is our eggs. As you can see, these ones here are sunshines. This one here is yolks. So hers are just a little bit darker. Um, that's the only way that I tell the difference, honestly. I wish we had chickens that laid like different colored eggs, like the nice mint colored ones or pinkish ones. They are so pretty, but it depends on what like species of chickens that you have. So we obviously don't have that species. So we are just left with brown eggs, but we are so grateful every day that we do have chickens. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Down, I, will keep on I recorded a little bit of footage on my phone when they took the test so you can either get it um, the nose test or the throat swab so I decided to get the throat swab and it doesn't hurt it definitely feels weird because it definitely goes right to the back of your throat um, <clears throat> but it is all done with and I should get my results even maybe today, but definitely tomorrow. So until then, we will just wait for my results and see. Um, like I said, the only symptoms that I kind of been having is a runny nose and a headache. And I do get that seasonal um, just with my allergies especially this time of year i'll get like sinus headaches and sinus colds so um but this way like i said peace of mind then i'll know 100 percent for sure so it was that easy um i took the the footage on my phone actually because it was just kind of like 
an inconvenience in order to use my camera and to bring out my camera uh, but it was fairly easy they have it really well organized they literally just ask you your name when you drive in there they have a package all ready for you and they just take all of your information if you're feeling symptoms and if you do have any underlying conditions as well too and then they just get your package for you and they do the test and then that is it so I will keep you guys posted on the results um, I won't post this video until I do know the results so I'll be able to update you guys once I get those in so we will see you guys in the next clip I'm back home and I am going to get started actually on my meals today it is a little bit later on it is past 1 30 now and I haven't had anything at all to eat or drink yet so absolutely nothing I wasn't in the mood for coffee my my morning was a little bit busier I slept in had a shower got ready and then we kind of took off to go into town in order to get our test done. So I am starting my day off by eating a little bit later today. So let's get our first meal on the go and I think I'm just going to keep it very, very simple and I'm going to make myself a uh, ham and cheese omelet, you guys. So let's get started. All right, you guys, I am just going to start by putting some of the bacon fat that I have that I keep in the fridge into my pan in order to cook my eggs. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in the pan and let that melt. And then we will just add our scrambled eggs. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be making a ham and cheese omelet today just because I actually do have some ham that is left over um, in the fridge that I had taken out for actually um, a ham and hash brown casserole dish for my family. So I do want to use up that ham. So I am going to have a ham and cheese omelet, which I personally love. I love um, ham and cheese omelets. They're probably my favorite. So let's get started on that. Um, I'm going to make a two egg omelet. So I'm going to get two eggs and then I'm going to lightly beat those up. to add some ham and cheese while that is cooking. So I'm gonna just put in that much ham. It's actually not that much ham to be honest, but um, I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese as well too on one side of my omelet. I put cheese on the inside and on the outside after it's all done cooking because I do like my cheese. Um, but if you guys aren't really a cheese person, um, just feel free to either put it on either or, either on the inside or on the outside. So I'm just going to do that. Then let that cook for a little bit and then we will flip it over and then our omelet will be almost done. All right, you guys. My omelet is all done, all finished up, and I just put a little bit of cheese on the very top. And as you can see, it is filled with cheese and ham. Now you guys can add whatever you'd like to your omelet. 
I just prefer keeping mine fairly simple, but you guys can add like green peppers, green onions, whatever you like, even mushrooms um, in your omelet. But I just kind of, I like simple, so simple and easy. And then I just added 55 grams of raspberries on the side. So this is going to be meal number one, you guys, and I will have the calories and the total carbs up on the screen right now. All right, you guys, we are ready for meal number two, and I am finally going to make my um, Caesar chicken, the keto Caesar chicken recipe. It's really, really simple, literally only takes like four ingredients, I guess it is, pretty much, and so simple, you guys will love it, and I guarantee you, your whole family will love this too, and I'm actually making this for myself, and for the rest of my family, they're just gonna have a different side than what I'm going to have. So I think I'm going to have mine with some broccoli and a side salad for my side. And then the family, I am making them pasta and then they'll probably either have like some broccoli or some salad of mine as well too. So let's get started. All right, so we are going to start just by putting our chicken on our baking dish. So I got chicken from Costco and they always seem fairly thick for chicken breast. So I always half mine. So that's what I did here. I have four of the thinner chicken breasts in my baking dish. And now let's get started on the dressing that we're gonna put on top. All right, so we are also going to set our oven to 375 and let that preheat while we're getting this ready. And like I said, this is a really, really simple recipe, you guys. It's really, really easy. So we are going to be taking a cup of Caesar dressing of your choice. As you guys know, I love the Renee's brand. I use it all the time. So that is what I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to put one cup into my mixing dish here. And I just have like a half of a cup measuring spoon here that I'm going to, to use. So that's one, that's a half a cup. another half a cup so that is one full cup of Caesar dressing in our mixing bowl then we are going to get a half a cup of sour cream and I'm just going to use the same measuring spoon uh, the measuring cup because this is a half a cup I'm just gonna get a new spoon and we are gonna put a half of a cup of sour cream in that mixture as well. All right, so there we go, half a cup of sour cream. Put that in with our Caesar dressing. All right, and would you believe it, you guys, that is all you need. You literally, that's all it consists of. Now what I usually do is I will season up my chicken a little bit. So I'm just gonna give this a stir and put it to the side for now, but I'm gonna make sure that this is all nicely combined and stirred together. And then I'm just gonna put that aside and I'm just going to season my chicken a little bit. This is strictly up to you. If you wanted to skip this step, you can but I'm just gonna use some of the Montreal chicken spice that I like to use on my chicken, which is right here. I love using this on chicken, so I always tend to um, use it as my seasoning. So I'm just going to put that on directly on my chicken. And I'm also going to put a little bit of salt and pepper. Not very much of either, but just a little bit of each, all right? Little bit of sprinkle of salt and a little sprinkle of black pepper. These are kind of like my go-to seasonings for chicken if I'm just doing like some sort of like chicken bake. And that is it for the seasoning. And then we are going to put our mixture over top of our chicken. What I do is I just usually do a big blob on each of them and then I just kind of mix it in afterwards. Spread it around so that they're all nicely covered with the seasoning. 
So they're all covered um, actually with the, the mixture that we have here. The Caesar dressing and the sour cream and this is so easy you guys. It takes no time at all and that's what I love about it. I like it that I can come home from work, I can quickly put this together and put it in the oven and then make my sides to go with it and that is it. And you guys are loving these, you know, five ingredients or less meals and that's just the way that I cook. I like simple, I've always been like that. Um, I'm starting to kind of experiment even with more seasonings, but for the most part, you guys, I always just keep it simple because that's just what I like. I like quick and simple. All right, so now what we are gonna do is we are gonna put some shredded Parmesan cheese over top of all of this. All right, so it calls for, I think it's a cup, a cup and a quarter of Parmesan cheese. So I'm just gonna kind of do like a handful on on the whole thing actually, because I think this is going to, maybe a couple handfuls over the whole thing. This will give you, this will be a nice high fat meal as well too, because um, your salad dressing, the Caesar dressing and the cheese will give a nice fat for your macros for the day and also give it a lot of flavor. It's not gonna be dry, just plain old chicken. We are gonna have some flavor with all of these. All right, so I think that's pretty much it, you guys. And that is it. And we will put it in the oven at 375. And I will check on it in a little bit. Every timing is gonna be a little bit different because my chicken is probably a little bit thinner. So depending on the size and thickness of your chicken, I always encourage you guys to make sure that you're checking with a meat thermometer. I always check my meat with a meat thermometer to make sure that it is um, of temperature. So I'm just gonna put it in the oven for about 20 minutes right now and then I will check on it in a little bit. All right, our chicken should be done in about five more minutes, so I'm just going to make the steamed broccoli, and this is how I like to make my steamed broccoli. It gives it a lot of flavor. So start by having just a little bit of water in a frying pan, and then what I like to add is the OXO. These are the packets, and this is what I use all the time. It has, um, how much, uh, 10 calories and two carbs in one packet. So definitely by the time, you know what I mean, per serving, um, it works out to be like, you know, not even a gram of carb. So I like it just because it gives it a lot of flavor. So I just bring this to a boil and then I will add my broccoli and just kind of like steam it for not very long. I would say probably like five to seven minutes. And that is all that I do for my broccoli. So I am just going to finish up with that, put my broccoli in, and then I will also make my salad. I'm just gonna make a simple salad, you guys, with just some lettuce, cucumbers, and probably some shredded cheese and mushrooms, probably. And then our chicken will be done and we will be ready to plate it all together, you guys. All right, you guys, this is the chicken right out of the oven. Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks absolutely amazing looks absolutely delicious so it is nice and golden brown on the top with all the cheese and everything is melted and i am just going to let that set for a little bit until the broccoli is done and then we are all ready to plate up our supper you guys all right you guys here is our dinner look at that and it has the chicken Caesar bake, whatever you want to call it. And I just made a little salad. I put in um, shredded lettuce, some cucumbers, some mushrooms, and some shredded cheese. And I just put um, an Italian dressing on that. I was thinking as well, you could have like a Caesar, a Caesar salad to go on the side. That would probably go really, really well with the Caesar chicken. And then I just had some broccoli and I just put a little bit of cheese on top of that. So that is going to be meal number two, you guys. And this is gonna be my last meal of the day. I really don't feel like I'm going to have anything else, to be honest. So I will have the calories and the total carbs up on the screen for this meal. All right, you guys, that is going to be the end of the day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I had to share in this video with my what I eat in a day. Um, I also kept it very, very easy and simple. Everything that I made today, you guys, is literally like 
four four or less ingredients that you will need to make these items that I shared with you today. So really, really simple. It's probably stuff that you guys already have in your house, which I love seeing videos like that because I hate running to the store right now. Um, right now, actually in Alberta, we had some new restrictions announced um, and now the hair salons, the nail salons are closed once again um, and we are back, like there's not even outdoor eating anymore. They took away the, the patio and we are just doing takeout only for restaurants. So our numbers are really, really bad here in Alberta. Um, actually, we have the most like per capita um, in Canada right now is in Alberta. So we are like tightening up those restrictions even more. So you know what you guys, if there's one thing that you can control, it's your eating. I took 100% of advantage of it last year. I got to my goal weight in August of last year and I 100% took advantage of quarantine, lockdown, everything because that was in my control and I am somewhat of a control freak. You can ask anybody in my family. I've always been that way and I like to stay in control and be in control of a lot of things. Um, so with this, you're not in control, unfortunately. It is what it is. So we just have to kind of deal with that and do it on our own terms and be okay with that. You know, this will pass. Not exactly sure the timeline of when, but it will pass too. So stick with what you can be in control of, you guys, and that is your eating. Your eating is one thing that you can control, and only you can control that. And, you know, I highly recommend of taking advantage of this time if you're still in lockdown, if you're still doing restrictions, take advantage of this time, you guys. Work on you, okay? Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I will keep you guys posted um, on my results for my COVID test that I got done today. And it's going to be too continued. So I will share that with you um, in tomorrow's video actually and you guys will know my results so I'm feeling a little bit better but you know what it's kind of like any symptom that I get whether it's related to like my allergies or anything you just have to get tested right because you just never know and with our numbers being so high you just have to do it and get tested right so thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and make sure that you hit that notification bell so YouTube can let you know when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.